So I cracked and ordered another shipment of Gabriel plants and I got a whole five more plants. And it's so confusing because, right, they came in this skinny box and there's five plants in here. So I'm kind of interested to see how they managed to fit them all in here because I was expecting a bit bigger of a box, but let's see how they are. I'm a bit more scared about this batch of plants because like, although, sorry, although I haven't, um, it's not like my first time ordering anymore and it shouldn't like be quite as scary as the first time because the first time went so well. There's, let me just cut this real quick. Anyways, what I was saying is there's some plants in here that I'm a bit more afraid of. Um, because the last time I ordered plants, if you've seen that video, I ordered a Calathea and that was the one that I was worried about because those are just more temperamental and I just don't have a whole lot of temperamental plants. So the Calathea was the only one in the last batch that really like scared me in terms of keeping it alive and all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're going to see how they are. Once again, I'm keeping it a surprise and I'm actually gonna keep it a surprise this time for all of them. Okay, yeah, it says there's five plants in here, but it's just such a small box. Um, and I'm not gonna go in any particular order. This is gonna be a complete surprise as I take them out as well, because I haven't checked to see which one is which as I'm grabbing it, but we're just gonna open it up as we go. And I've actually prepared a bit more for this purchase. I've gotten a lot more pots um, so I can put my plants in there, obviously. So I took a trip to Ikea because I was running low on pots and I knew these plants were coming. So I was just like, I need to just go get more before they come and then I can't actually do anything else with them. Um, so I have more pots now that I can fit them into. They're just these little white pots cause they're like four inch and I only get four inch really from places. So we actually have pots for these plants to live in now and they're not just gonna be thrown around my house just in their nursery pots like they usually are. Okay, so this first one, you can't see what it is. Um, I can kind of see the color of the leaf peeking through, so I think I think I know what this one is. So this one, as you can see, is a lemon lime heart leaf philodendron, and it's in a three inch pot, and it's so big for being in a three inch pot. So I'm super excited to see like the foliage just all out and together. Okay, I'm so happy with this one. Cause I have, I already have a neon, I? Yeah, I have a neon philodendron, but it's just from cuttings. And then I have another small pot of neon and regular heart leaf kind of together, but then that's just cuttings as well. Look at how full and pretty this one is. Obviously the leaves are like a bit wilted because it's been all crushed up and it might probably needs to be watered. I can't imagine it not needing water, but it's so full and lush and like trailing quite a lot, like a lot more than a lot of my four inch pots actually. So I'm super pleased with how that one came out. I'm gonna leave all the cotton on there until the end because last time I was spilling soil everywhere and I just want to not make a mess if at all possible. So we're gonna keep the cotton on there and I'm just gonna take them out when I actually go to like water them and situation situate them in their new homes. Looks like the next one might actually be a five inch pot. Yeah, maybe a five inch. So we'll see what's in there. These ones all came with the little plant stakes as well. I'm just not looking at them on purpose. So I um, don't spoil what it is for me or for you guys. Okay, this one I'm really excited about actually. Um, I So this is a plant that I've been wanting for a while. I had one before, but it was potted in way too big of a pot. And so that led to me overwatering it um, because the soil just didn't dry out quick enough. And every time I wanted to find one in a nursery because they're not like uncommon, but every time I went to go find one in a nursery, they just like didn't look the healthiest or if they did look healthy, they were really expensive. So I just didn't care to spend money on something if I didn't think it was gonna survive. Um, and then like that kind of money as well, just a bit ridiculous. So I'm super excited about this one. Let me just shake it out a bit. It's got a lot of water on its leaves, which is interesting. Um, but it's a Monstera, or not a Monstera. They call it a Monstera, like the Monstera Minima or like Monstera Ginny and all that sort of stuff. It's a Raphidophora. So it's a Raphidophora Tetrasperma. And this one's so healthy looking. It's got the biggest leaves that I've seen um, with like actually being healthy leaves as well and it's already vining off a bit. I'm just, I'm super excited about this one. This one 
does not need to be watered. I can feel it in its paw already. This was watered heavily right before it was uh, shipped to me, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this one. Like I said, it was like the first one that was like decently priced that I knew was going to be in better condition than the ones that I even found at nurseries. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Actually, a quick little story time. One time I went to Callaway's here in Texas. I believe it was the one in Mesquite for anybody that knows where that is in Texas. But they had a um, variegated Rifidophora tetrasperma on a totem. Um, I took a picture of it actually, it's right here, and it was only $89 for that massive plant, and there was a bunch of variegation like on the stem, so it would be like stable, and you would be able to propagate it, and um, kind of like, you know, nurture that variegation and get more out of it, which people sell those cuttings for like astronomical prices, so $89 you'd get a return quite quickly if you were looking into that, but like, I just don't love that whole idea of just buying the plant just for the sake of selling it and chopping it up and all that sort of stuff. Um, that being said, I did love it. I just was not looking to spend $89 on a massive totem uh, Rufidophora at that time. So I left it and I knew that someone would find it and post it onto the Facebook group that they either like, oh, what a score or like whatever. Um, but I was keeping, so I was keeping an eye for the next couple days and I saw someone post that they had Rufidophora tetrasperma variegated cuttings and they were selling them for $300 each and people were buying them. And I was like, hey, that variegation pattern looks really, really interesting. Like it looks really familiar. And I compared it to the pictures that I took and it was the exact same totem that they had gotten um, or that I had seen at Callaway's. So they must have bought that totem and started selling those cuttings and they must have sold like five of those cuttings for $300 a piece. And I just, you know, they, they got it for $89. It's just like, what's the point? And they couldn't have had it for very long either. So they literally just bought it to chop it up and sell it. And I mean, to each their own, it's fine. Um, because like, it's a plant, you could do what you want with it. But I was just like, did you keep any for yourself? Because I don't know, I don't know. Doesn't, it kind of feels a bit icky sometimes, but like I said, people can do what they want. It's their money, it's their plants. But yeah, I'm not like regretting that I passed that up. It was just, I never really score with those like, ooh, I found a unicorn at like this big box store or whatever. Um, it was just kind of fun to see it. And I liked that I could like leave it. I mean, I didn't really have room in my car either. So it wasn't much of a choice actually at the end of the day, but it was fun to find. It felt like I want a scavenger hunt or something. Okay, so sorry for that tangent. We're on to the next one. At this point, I don't even remember what I bought with a lot of these. Like it didn't take, it didn't take a long time to ship. I think it actually took a shorter amount of time this time around to ship than it did last time. Like this time it only took like a week, I think total to get to me. And last time it took about two weeks total, I think. Okay, this one I'm super excited about as well. I feel like I'm gonna say that for every single one though. These are also a lot more watered than the last batch that I got. So I've been really into the different kind of like philodendrons. Like you saw in my last video, I got a philodendron by Penifolium. This one is a philodendron Florida, not Florida ghost, unfortunately, um, but a philodendron Florida, I think. But I think it's super cool. It's got some like really cool textured stems um, that are more of a red color. And then it's got the really nice like leaf shape on it. This one's a bit more mature, so you can kind of see more so what I'm talking about. But I'm super excited about this one and to see it get bigger. Um, I just think it's such a cool little plant and it's in such good shape, actually. I was not expecting that at all. So there's the most, um, I think it's the most mature leaf with like all the different little, I don't know what you even call those little branch offs and stuff. I want to see if I can get close enough to the stems though to show you just how like textured and cool those are. I mean, you can see the color on it. It's like a cool little red brown color, but it's got some really nice like bumpy texture on it as well. So I don't know. It's super cool. It's super unique and it wasn't even expensive. So total win for me, I think. And doesn't it just look so cute in its little pot? I might paint these pots just to make them more fun and not just like plain white pots sitting all over the place, but definitely super cute. The problem is that was my last pot that I had gotten for these plants and I still have two more plants to go through. So it looks like I'm needing another trip to Ikea. All right, the next two are in a lot bigger little, I don't know, packing, whatever. Um, I know what one is, but I cannot for the life of me remember what the other one is. Oh yeah, duh, I remember this one. This one is the one that I'm scared about. Um, not the most scared, 
the last one is the one that I'm the most afraid of. But this one is famously temperamental. You can kind of see the leaves. Put your guesses in the comments for what it is. Um, famously temperamental, it's a drama queen, all that sort of stuff. So everything that I love in a plant, I mean, not really, but it just kind of resonates a bit more with me. Um, I was not expecting it to be this tall. It's a peace lily, which I just, I don't know how I didn't have already. I feel like lots of beginners get those and I just have a lot of beginner plants in my collection. And yeah, I was expecting it to be a lot smaller because it was in a four inch pot. So I thought like, yeah, it'll be like a four inch size, um, but it's not, it's more like a six inch size and it's blooming a lot. There's like, I see like five flowers right off the bat, like five of the little spades, but I'm super excited about this one. Um, I feel like I should be able to handle it because I like plants that flop over when they need water, like petonias and that sort of stuff. Um, so I. I hope I can keep it happy, but super, super pretty. Um, I'm also on the hunt for a variegated one because those are super pretty as well, but I, I hope this does well. I hope. Okay, and the last one is the one that I'm the most afraid of because I just, I feel like I'm gonna kill it. I feel like I'm gonna kill it, but it was $10 and it was just like, I'm never gonna go for it if I get a really big one that's expensive. So it's like, anyways, I'll show you what it is actually. I mean, I need to un box it first and everything before I show you what it is. If you can guess what it is down in the comments, I'll give you guys a couple hints just while I'm taking all this stuff off. But it's a tree. It's one of the most common house plants you'll see in someone's house when they first start out, they think they can take care of it. Um, it's got big green leaves, obviously. And it is very particular and does not like to be moved around the house. That's a very common way for it to die is you move it around too much. So if you've put your guesses down there, you'll see now if you're correct. Once I actually, I don't know, I'm sorry for all this suspense. I just need to get this off. I mean, you can probably see what it is right now. Um, but it is a, it's a fiddle leaf fig. <laughs> I am so terrified of this one. I like um, ficus trees, but I just am so scared of fiddle leaves and I haven't gotten one yet on purpose because I was so scared of them. Um, just because all I see are like horror stories of people's dropping leaves and not behaving and just never being happy no matter what they try to do. So I'm super excited to try this one out. Again, it's one of those ones that I just haven't seen a healthy one at the stores that I was willing to spend money on because they were all like $20 and above. And if I know that I have a high likelihood of killing a plant, I can't spend $20 on it. I just, I can't do it. Um, so I'm excited to see if I can keep this one alive. It's a cute little size as well. I didn't want a massive one to start out with, but then I didn't want one of the little like bush kind of ones. Like, I don't know if it's a dwarf one or whatever, but like you see those ones and it's just like five leaves and it's like, I don't know, like only to there and there's no actual stem. Um, I wanted like an actual tree type one. I mean, I know this is really small, but I wanted one that's like more of a shape of a tree. Cautiously optimistic with it, but also I don't know where I'm gonna put it, where it's gonna get enough light because I know they like a lot of light. Um, so yeah, it should be good, but also it could die. So <laughs> I'm just so scared. I don't know what to do with it. But those are all the plants that I got from Gabriel Plants this week, month. I don't know. I don't know when the last video came out, so it might have been <laughs> really recent. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any tips for me with the peace lily and fiddle leaf specifically, I would absolutely love those. So if you could drop those down in the comments, I would be so, so grateful um, because I just don't know where to start with that. And I know some people have really good, um, I call it luck, but you could just be really, really good with them. So if you know how to take care of them, drop that down in the comments, or if you've learned any like tricks or whatever along the way of owning them, I could really use those because the chance of me killing these are pretty high. Um, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.